Right, I'm just about to interview Chris Martin from Coldplay. But first, there's something I need to do. G'day, Chris Martin from the Black Caps. Have you got those um, questions? Oh, great, he's gonna like these. All right, should we do it? Do what? I thought I was coming along to the interview. No, it's just me and um, Chris. I thought you might be a bit busy with the whole cricket thing. Sort of might get to meet him. Well, um, yeah, if you could just uh, sort of stay there, that'd be great. Why hello, my name's Di Henwood, and if you thought I was a massive deal, you're wrong, because this guy next to me is, this is Chris Martin from Coldplay. Oh well, hello. What an inappropriately large introduction. It was quite intense. Hey, well, welcome back to New Zealand. Thanks, You've been man. here for the big day out. I believe you spent a bit of time in Dunedin. I spent a bit of time in Dunedin. It was you, great. Do you have any fond memories of the place? Well, that's funny you should ask, because there's this pizza that I had there that I haven't been able to match since. It's been six years. I know you're quite a conscious person, I'm going to go straight to it. What do you think the world needs less of and the world needs more of? The film Yes Man. Have you seen Yes Man? Yes, I have. I, I kind of believe in that it needs more positive well, stuff. That, that features a good Kiwi comic, Reese Darby, actually. That guy's on fire, man. He is on fire at the moment. We asked Fight the Concourse if they wanted to open us on, open for us on tour. And they, they just coldly rejected us. <laughs> but we still love them. Just the... No, thanks. We even put the personal call in. I said, you can come, we, we're going to rent a plane and you can come on it and we'll, there'll be like 15,000 people every night and Brett was just like, ah, oh, no thanks. <laughs> what were the days like when Coldplay wasn't famous? How were the starting out gigs? Well, they were just the same, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't like to take anything for granted and just because yesterday was busy doesn't mean today will be. So. What were they like? They were this, they were just as aspirational, but with less people. If we try really hard then, and there's only 15 people, then next time there'll be 30. And that's how it works, I think, if you put everything into it, no matter how few people there are. Where's the strangest place you've heard one of your songs? Can we come back to that question? Yeah. I haven't got an answer that isn't shit. <laughs> we're, we're trying to go for the non-shit We're trying to go for the non-shit answers today. Just because I you may not remember this, but five years ago, a friend of mine, Phoebe Spears, right. over here on an on-air um, dare, mm -hmm. said that if Chris Martin shouts out a song for me, I will get lyrics tattooed yeah. on my shoulder. And what happened? And she did it. Come on. And she is here today. Did I do it? Phoebe Spears, you did the shout out, and she got it tattooed. Phoebe, how are you doing? Good thing. You crazy this is Phoebe. brain. <laughs> and there is the evidence. Oh no shit! Look at that. Wow. Even if you hate Coldplay, that's a good sentiment. Isn't that weird? We've played that song for the soundtrack for the first time in six years. That is... Synergy. What is going on? It's going to be a good gig tonight. I hope so. Every hey, now, going from number one on the charts, to fully into 12. the music, to fully number 12, to also a bit of a star on the TV, how did you end up with Ricky Gervais? Well, 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 OK. That's a big statement. When you act with Ricky, you just stand there and try not to giggle. Yeah. It's not really acting, it's more suppressing laughter. Which is why a lot of people who act with him look very serious. And is it quite easy to, I suppose, take the mickey out of yourself when you're just trying to keep a straight face? The easiest, you know, I'm not a big believer in musicians acting, but it's always fun to portray the really nasty side of yourself. Yeah. That's very easy. At the moment, you're not the only unique Chris Martin I in know. New Zealand. I'm very well aware of that. I'm happy to be number two here. He, he, he is a member of our cricket team. I know who he is. And he has even given me some questions. No, come A on. little quiz on, quiz on Chris Martin to see okay. if you have well, any knowledge. Okay. I'm a cricketer. Am I a bowler or a batter? Oh, come on, man. He's a bowler. He's an opening bowler, sometimes first change. Nice. Although I'm famous for my bowling, why am I famous for my batting? Well, I would say because your average is below three. Yes, his words are probably closer to, I'm, I'm very terrible. shit. Yeah. What would you call it if I bowled someone, then I bowled another person, then you came in and I bowled you? Come on, don't toy with me here. I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. Is that all? 
that's his quiz. It was a bit of a letdown, uh, actually. E e even the, the silliest singer of all time knows what a hat trick is. So, Chris, thanks very much. Pleasure to have you. And thanks for um, witnessing the thanks. tattoo. Thanks, Phoebe. Lovely to see you. You too. Thank we'll you. We'll see you this evening. Wonderful. Oh, I'll stand up again. Stand up. So we go. We've got the stand up, sit down. All right. Have a good game. I'm down again. <laughs> All right. Bye.